But we need to find out what happened here. Paul, I did not do anything to hurt her. There was a question between myself and the kids that morning whether or not to call an ambulance. Her breathing was funny. She could hardly get out of bed. I mean, it was a god-awful situation. Here in your statement, Wednesday, December 3rd, Julie they could hardly move. Here, 9 p.m., told me that she was fine and she wanted to commit suicide. Right. And on Wednesday morning, Julie asked me not to call anyone, right. meaning not to call her help. She wanted to die. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So on Wednesday, Wednesday morning, morning, she asked me not to call anybody. She was pretty bad off. Yeah, yeah. Wednesday she morning. She wasn't looking good. She couldn't. No yeah. motor control. Should you call the rescue squad that Wednesday, you think? She was bad off enough to where she should have called the rescue squad, but she didn't want you to. She didn't want me to. Well, right, I should have. I, you know, in hindsight, I know that. So you didn't do anything to aid in her death, no, but she didn't do anything to stop her from dying. I really didn't. Yeah. I mean, I just watched it happen. Yeah. Are, are you up to looking at some pictures of her? I can, I can grab them real quick. Okay. okay. Show you where the position she was in there. Okay. Maybe you could explain it a little bit further. I've got the image in my mind. Okay. Let, it'll, it'll take me just a minute. Though. Okay. Okay. Let me bring back in the photos and I'll show you. See, like here's a picture of Julie, and you can see here. Look at the nose. How it's bent, like it was pushed into a pillow, like somebody pushed it in there. I, uh, I don't know how to explain that, Mark. You know, here's probably a better. See, I mean, that's oh, almost like it's broken. Mm -hmm. I have Dr. Chambliss's report right here which says it's basically an asphyxia death. She suffocated. And the only way you can suffocate, Mark, is if you did something to her. A 40, 41-year-old young female does just not stop breathing. You had to do something, Mark. Be honest with me. Be straight with me, Mark. I Be a man. Tell me what happened here. Nothing more than what I told her. You didn't get on top of her? No. Well, the evidence suggests is that there was a pillow over her head. But you recall, you saw the nose, same as I did. I got pictures of it. Right. Okay. You saw the nose and put a pillow over her head. No. 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 Mark, no. How, how, how did she? How did she stop breathing, Mark? I Be straight know. with me. Be honest. When I found her. Mark, you had to do something. I did not know. How? How? How can I? Honestly, how can I, you explain I this? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, well, let's get back here to Julie. I mean, here, we'll, we'll, we'll look at where you're sitting from my position here, Mark. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, we have a relation, a marriage that was not good. Right. Okay. That was not good. You basically has a girlfriend at this point, the one that you were seeing before Julie. Okay. I've talked to some of Julie's friends, and they said you, she was, divorced was mentioned, uh, some of this other stuff. You guys were not having a good marriage. No. Okay. I never uh, You know, she contacts us uh, a couple days before and she leaves us this letter okay and then all of a sudden boom she turns up dead you know I'm not making this up this is I true evidence this. I mean, and here we have Julie Jensen telling me that if she dies you're the person that that did it if anything happens to me he would be my first suspect I know he's never forgiven me for the brief affair I had with that creep seven years ago I have been doing this 15 years, Mark, and I've never had anybody leave me a letter telling me that if they die, it's this person that killed me. 